Hello friends, welcome to BHP Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In today's session, we are going to create transform work order in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Manufacturing Application. In our Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Manufacturing Application, a finished goods assembly can be transformed into a different assembly by removing or adding components. And also, we can create a transform work order with and without specifying the transform work definition. A transform work order is created in manufacturing application where the assembly, where the assembly to be transformed is issued from the Oracle Fusion cloud inventory to the work order and the operations are executed on the show floor. One and more components are removed from the assembly and they can be replaced with a new component and the assembly now gets transformed into the another item right for example in our inventory organization we have the item item name is tablet right and the tablet having the 32 gb ram so we are going to remove 32 gb ram and replace it with the 64 gb ram by which the assembly is upgraded to a higher version right then the transform assembly is completed in the inventory as a finished item, right? So we have the process flow. So you can see on the screen, the business flow diagram of the transform work order process. How an assembly in the inventory, how an assembly in the inventory to be transformed into another assembly in the manufacturing soft shop floor. Then first we execute the transform work order so that we can return the component and perform the material negative issue transaction, right? And then again, we execute the transform work order again, but at this time we issue the component and complete as a finished good back to the inventory. You can see over here and the transform assembly can be upgraded or a downgraded version of the original assembly. So let's move on to the application and we'll see how to create a transform fork order in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Manufacturing application. So this is our application. Click on this navigator and go to the supply chain execution. Click on work execution. Click on the task list. Click on manage work orders and on the create icon, we have a drop down option. So click on this drop down menu and click on the create transform work order. Click on show more. Now we have to define our item. So let's search for our tablet having the RAM 32 GB. So we have the tablet 32 GB RAM, select, click OK, right. And we have the quantity one and the status is unreleased, right. And you can describe and you can write the description over here for this uh, transform work order. Right. Now we have to define transform from the item, from which item we are going to uh, transform. So we have to define RAM. So we have item. So we have the RAM 64 GB. Okay, right. So this is the transform from the item and you can also define the start date and the complete completion date for this transform work order, right? And uh, you can see, as you know that 
we can create a transform work order with and without specifying the work definition, the transform work definition, right? So we need to define, click on this seven edit. Right. So we have the general information, status, start date, completion date, and we can define priority. And this is the product information over here. Work definition, item structure, details, completion information. You can see, click on this operation. Right now we don't have any operation. So let's add few operations so that we can replace our RAM from 32 GB to the 64 GB, right? So click on this code. And first of all, we select the tablet, tear down, right? The count point and click OK. So this is our first operation. Under this operation, we are going to define our item, right? Let's add a few more. We are going to update our tablet. We are going to test it as per your requirement, like uh, tablet testing. And this is automatically transact. Let's see how it's possible. No, it's not possible. Let's click on this count point. Okay. And at the end, we can. pack this tablet so tablet packing is the last operation right so these are the operations over here and uh, let's add item the rem so let's add search So this is our item, 64 GB, hit OK. Again, click, uh, first of all, the supply type is push, no worry. And we have to minus it. The quantity value can be negative if the work order type is rework or a transform, right? So we are going to perform the transform work order so that mention the negative transaction right okay right so the item added but it's not defined over here still zero let's add to the updated search for our item Sixty four GB. Okay. Okay. So we added the item, but it's not display, right? So what we will do? First, we check the history. There is no history over here. So go to the general information, and the status is unreleased. We have to change the status from unreleased to the release. So first we have to perform the save option. Uh, click on save. Right. Now let's check some details. You can see item one added, right? But uh, the uh, issue item is not displayed over here. Again, go to the general information. Let's click on the status. Click on released, right? and click on save go to the operation you can see the ready one item is issue for this operation right you can see let's check our history you can see the status from the unreleased to the status released and the user smimpl right 
So this is how you can create a transform work order in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Manufacturing Application. Save and close. Okay. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.